what's special about Stanley Hall is it's really truly integrated in the fact that it's just not a mixed interdisciplinary, but intradisciplinary, where the people are working at the boundaries between different disciplines, and their backgrounds may be different, but they're focusing on very similar things. Biology really is the 21st century, and so much of biology is centered around using the quantitative tools that are more traditionally in those hard sciences, such as physics, math, and chemistry. And the idea is that people here wouldn't just be using physics with their biology, but actually moving state-of-the-art physics and state-of-the-art biology to be really doing novel science that requires the best of both worlds. So I think there was a lot of discussion about how could the science drive the design of the building, but how could the design of the building drive the science? And we really uh, leave behind the way we usually think about doing things in our individual departments and just do them the way the science is driving us to do them in this building. Before we were in Stanley Hall, the professors were spread out all over campus, uh, and a lot of the lab facilities were off campus. So trying to bring together the expertise and the lab space, and in some cases multiple lab spaces to kind of integrate these things was very difficult. If a student came to me and said, um, I would really love to do X for my project. Um, I would very often have to say no. Uh, and nowadays, if a student comes up with a project, I can say no a lot less. I can afford to encourage my students in quizniveness more because um, there are less barriers that they have to deal with and that I would have to deal with in um, getting their project off the ground. I have published one paper with the grad students since I came here and I'm probably on the road to publish another just because I'm available so people can come to me with questions. The instrumentation that's in this lab is used for studying both the structure and dynamics of biological molecules. Proteins, DNA, RNA, studying them and how they interact with other molecules that are important for function. So in some cases this includes drugs that might interact with a protein and affect the activity of the protein, be part of a therapeutic treatment for some kind of disease. Nature gave us very small magnetic moments in the nuclei of many atoms in the molecules. And those little tiny magnets in the nuclei interact with the strong magnetic field. We put the samples into the very strong magnetic field and the interaction allows us to understand both the structure of the molecule, that is how the atoms are arranged in three-dimensional space, and how they're moving. And from that combination, we can understand how they're carrying out their function and how they interact with other molecules. Having this generation instrument, really the, the highest available magnetic field, the highest resolving power, allows us to push into biological problems that, that are very complicated and really address questions which are at the state of the art in terms of biology. So this facility, new Stanley Hall, new instrumentation, really allows us to address problems that a few years ago we couldn't begin to tackle. I definitely think the way that we work here in Stanley Hall creates a lot of new opportunities for students. It gives them the opportunity to form collaborations with other laboratories to get help from students and really figure out which other labs are doing the kind of work that they're doing just because you run into the people every day and you may share equipment and we all get to know better which equipment's available in which lab and already I can see um, many students including myself in this building starting new collaborations or firming up um, collaborations based on that.